The Truth About Maria Isabel Lopez Maria Isabel Pagunzan Lopez, born August 19, 1957, is a Filipino movie and television actress. Lopez was the Binabining Pilipinas Universe 1982 title holder and represented the Philippines in the 31st Miss Universe pageant in Lima, Peru. She became controversially known as a Filipino beauty queen acting on sex in film. Lopez was previously married to a Japanese national, Hiroshi Yokohama, later annulled. Lopez then married Jonathan Malarod in the United States. She is a mosaic artist and a professional member of the Society of American Mosaic Artists and acts in various roles in Philippine cinema. Pageantry, Lopez is from Cagayan in the Oro City and was born to Benjamin Lopez and Christiancia Pagunzan. Prior to becoming a beauty queen title holder, she worked as a fashion designer at the SM store and Rustin's department store as well as a sexy model for various fashion salons, namely by gay fashion designer, Rodolfo Fuentes, 1950, 2011, who scouted her as a candidate in the national pageant that year and was assigned as candidate number number 15. At age 24, she won the Binabining Pilipinas Universe Beauty Pageant in 1982, after being almost dethroned for her pre-discovery as a sexy lingerie model in a Gerard Peter fashion show due to an immorality clause set by Stella Araneta. Lopez maintains that she was pressured to resign her title but refused. Lopez further gained notoriety when the famed mistaken question of virginity from Philippine judge and actress Rita Gomez, 1935-1990, was attributed during her national competition, in actuality was for Janet Sales of Manila, creating an urban legend among beauty pageant connoisseurs during the 1980s. During her national competition, she was asked by American drummer Alphonse Muzon regarding the independence of women. At her coronation night, her name was initially mispronounced as Maricar Isabel Lopez, later corrected. Film work, Lopez became controversial when she entered the movies due to her highly sexualized roles not usually expected of her beauty queen title holder. Her first movie sauna, Bucas Parang Kaapan, English, hoping, that tomorrow is still were passed in 1983, starred Hilda Coronel, Lorna Tolentino, Dindo Fernando and Jay Lagan, and was directed by Romy Suzara. She was in the original cast of Working Girls, 1984, a comedy film where she starred as a young office worker who entered as a sex worker at night to gain more income, directed by national artist Ishmael Bernal. In 1988, Lopez was hired as a commercial sexy model for White Castle Whiskey. During the height of her popularity, Lopez began more intense sexual and romanticized movies, namely the following. Silla, Daughters of Eve, by Elwood Perez, 1985, Isla, English, Island, 1985, by Celso Ad Castillo, Cubo Saw Dilem, English, Naked in the Darkness, 1985, MGA Nakal Na Sandali, English, Stolen Moments, 1986, Ding Ding Lang Ang Pajitan, English, Only Thin Walls That Separate, 1986, among other sexualized films. She won the Golden Screen Award Best Supporting Actress Award for Kinate, English, Butchered, 2009. Lopez walked the red carpet at the Cannes International Film Festival in France for Brilliant E. Mendoza's award-winning film, Kinate, 2009. Lopez again walked the red carpet at the Cannes International Film Festival in France for Brilliant E. Mendoza's award-winning film, Morosa, 2016. Lopez was the line producer for Tulik, 2009, and HIV, C. Heidi, C. Ivy at CV. 2010. She was also in the cast again for the modern sequel, Working Girls, 2010 film, for GMA Films under the helm of Jose Javier Reyes. Lopez was one of the castaways in GMA Network's Survivor Philippines, Celebrity Doubles Showdown, 2011 to 2012, in tandem with her daughter, Mara Lopez, also an actress in her own right having won Cinema One Originals Best Actress 2012. She played the mother of Sid Lucero in GMA 7's primetime series, Legacy, 2012. List of Controversies In 2009, Lopez became the center of controversy when she was not given a complimentary ticket for the Binabining Pilipinas 2009 pageant, an oversight she strongly resented in public due to not being allowed to sit in the box where former beauty title holders were allotted after finally obtaining a ticket. In 2010, Lopez became involved in a conflict with various Philippine journalists, namely Ricky Lowe who implied that Lopez strongly desired the passing of Stella Araneta. Lopez vehemently denied the allegation as libel, but maintained the accusation that Araneta is an elitist, who refuses to address people of impoverished backgrounds due to her grandiose ego. Lopez maintains that Araneta has never forgiven her for making sexualized films after her reign as Miss Philippines 1982. In 2016, Lopez gained notoriety for a green pageant gown she wore for the 2015 Cannes Film Festival wherein she made comparative comments of her evening gown to the one used by Pia Wurzbach. 
In January 2017, Lopez publicly revealed on a televised Philippine morning show on Ang Hirat, the strong discrimination against dark contestants during her time as a beauty queen title holder. She noted that during the Miss Universe 1982 visit at the Presidential Palace in Peru, the First Lady Pilar Norris de Garcia was racially dismissive towards dark-skinned contestants, namely Miss Papua New Guinea and Turks and Caicos. In November 2017, Lopez was penalized for illegally driving, removing traffic cones among others, on the driving lane reserved for the ASEAN delegates which were being hosted in the Philippines. Consequentially, Lopez's driver's license was revoked and confiscated along with a minimal fine after complaints from the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority employees upon discovery of sharing the violation on her Facebook account. The Metropolitan Manila Development Authority recommended the violation to the Land Transportation Office to suspend or cancel her driver's license. Lopez later claimed she that seeing other vehicles using the Ocean Lane prompted her to drive on it as well. The office later revoked her license and barred her from reapplying and reacquiring her license for the next two years. She was also fined $8,160 US dollars for ignoring traffic signs, reckless driving and violating the Anti-Distracted Driving Act. Lopez accepted the charges and issued a public apology. Personal life, Lopez married Japanese national Hiroshi Yokohama, a DHL executive in 1990 and both lived in Tokyo, Japan. The couple later moved to the Philippines and separated in 2006 due to claims of abuse and infidelity. They have two children, a daughter, Mar Lopez, an actress, and son, Kenyo Kiryokohama, a civil engineering graduate of De La Salle University. On June 9, 2019, Lopez married again a Jewish American, Jonathan D. Melrod, and both lived in Sebastopol, California. Lopez studied fine arts at the University of the Philippines Baliman and is member of the NCCA, National Commission for Culture and Arts, and was secretary of the Committee on Visual Arts for the year 2011-2013. Lopez also completed art classes both in Chicago Mosaic School and Institute of Mosaic Art in Berkeley, California. In 2015, she toured UNESCO Italian Mosaics in Ravenna, Italy as part of her interest in mosaics at www.mariazavalopesart.com. Sipil, 2016, Barcelona, A Love Untold, 2016, Just the Three of Us, 2016, Maria Leonora Teresa, 2014, Mariposa, Sahala and G. Gabi, 2012, Ang Mrs. Nye Mayer, 2012, Corazon, Ang Anang Aswang, 2012, Captive, 2012, Ritual, The Faithfuls, 2011, Syrup, 2011, Kakara, 2011, HIV, C. Heidi, C. Ivy at C. V. 2010, Ika Sampu, 2010, Ang Babay Sa Cementerio, 2010, Ways of the Sea, 2010, Working Girls, 2010, Palantic, 2010, Fidel, Kenate, 2009, Hilot, 2009, Tulik, 2009, Aang, 2008, Sa Kuko and Giagila, 1989.